All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset on your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, there are a few reasons why you may want to do this. The first reason is because you may be sending your S24 Ultra back to Samsung. Maybe you're still within that cooling off period where you can send it back for a refund, or maybe it's further down the line and you're going to use your S24 Ultra as a trading phone against another phone in the future, or maybe you're going to sell your S24 Ultra to somebody else, or maybe you may even be wanting to give this away to a family member or something. In any of those particular situations, you will have to do a factory reset of the phone, which not only takes the phone back to a factory reset because it's a factory reset, but it will also delete all of your personal information from the phone so nobody gets any access to any of your information that was on the phone now before i go any further i just want to make it perfectly clear that deleting your account from this phone and setting it back to a factory reset does not delete your google account the reset will only delete your google account from this phone and your google account will remain intact on any other phone or device that you have it on now before i get into the factory reset it is just worth noting something about the power here the phone has to have enough power in it in order for the factory reset to start if you don't have enough power then what's going to happen is the factory reset will prompt you to charge up your phone or to connect it to a power outlet now me personally I would just always have the phone charged up to 100% however you can just plug it into your power outlet as well so what I'm going to do here is to scroll to settings so I'm going to tap on settings. Now from here, we need to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now once we're at the bottom here, we need to click on about phone. So I'm going to tap on there and then scroll to the bottom here. And then we have got reset. So I'm going to tap on reset. Now from here, if we scroll down a bit more, we've got a number of options, but it's the bottom option that we want here, which is factory data reset. So I'm just going to tap on that. Now at this point, it is going to actually advise us that we are going to be deleting a number of apps and all kinds of stuff here. So what you really need to do is to make sure that before you do this, that you have backed up any important information from your phone. Now you could do that, say, via the USB-C port to an external storage device or to a cloud storage, but just make sure that you have backed off any photos or videos that are on the phone that haven't been backed up to your cloud or to an external storage or any other data that you've got on your phone because of course everything here is going to be erased off the phone including all the apps and all the logins for these apps so let me just scroll further down here now what we've got here is something that says reset so we just need to tap on reset so i'm going to do that now at this point it's asking me for my pin number so i'm just going to tap this in so if you give me a moment okay so i've just tapped in my pin number there for verification and now it has taken us to this option here which says delete all so factory data reset delete all so i'm just going to tap on that now what's going to happen here is that the phone is going to shut down it may kind of start up once or twice or something like that however i'm just gonna like go through this and show you exactly what happens so as we can see there it's come up with the samsung logo again now i'm not entirely sure it might shut down one more time or it might actually go just straight to a new login let's see so it's refreshed again back to the samsung logo like I say, I will do this in real time just so that you can see how long that this takes, just so that you're aware of what happens when you do it for yourself. Okay, we'll take a little bit of time to get through this. Okay, so we're now onto the Android logo here. So I think we are fairly close to the phone having erased itself. What happens is once the phone erases itself, it will actually go back to that initial screen that you would see when you initially buy the phone. So basically it's acting like a fresh phone. And I think we are almost there. Yes, there we go. So right now, this is the very first screen that you would see when you buy a brand new phone. So at this point, you now know that the phone has been completely factory erased. Now, just a quick recap to end this video. What's happened here is that the phone has had 
all of the information erased off it it has also had all of the accounts that were on it erased off it but once again just remember it does not wipe out your google account it only takes it away from this phone so your google account is still intact and whatever other devices you're logged into with your google account are all okay just to be clear it only takes it off this phone and nothing else and it does not delete your global google account but nonetheless right now this phone has had all of your private information erased from it which now means that nobody can find anything about you to do with this phone no matter where it goes to who you sell it to or if indeed you send it back to samsung okay that will just about do it for this video and if you found it useful please do give it a thumbs up a sub to the channel would be absolutely awesome i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now.